Rocky Mountain Permaculture presents Permabits. Deep in the forest wilderness of western Montana, Rocky Mountain Permaculture explores Paul Wheaton's farm laboratory. Welcome to Wheaton Laboratories. Let's get to work. This crazy looking box here, the idea is, is that we have 41 grains of Sepp Holzer's grain. He calls it Russian corn. And it's such an amazing plant that we wanted to make sure that we didn't lose any of the plants because it's taken us years to get this. So we planted 21 of the grains um, uh, just a, uh, about a week ago, and by we I mean Richard did. Richard's our seed commander here at Wheaton Laboratories, and this is Richard's creation to protect the, the newly germinating uh, uh, seeds from the deer and the turkeys. We have a lot of wild turkeys and a lot of deer, elk, moose. We got lots of things that want to eat these plants, so we're protecting them. Um, <clears throat> This, this particular grain will grow in horrible soils, the most miserable, pathetic soils there are, eight and a half feet tall. And so it's a, it's a massive soil builder and generates huge amounts of organic matter from practically nothing. What an amazing, amazing plant. Now, Sepp Holzer for 50 years, maybe even 60 years, has been planting this and keeping the seeds from the best looking plants on the worst soil for 50 years. And, uh, uh, and this, is the, this is the result. We have some. So um, it should grow out of the top of this thing and beyond. Um, and uh, when it gets to be a couple years old, we'll be able to harvest uh, more seed and start our own I collection. Half the of seeds seed. now and half the seeds in early spring. See which which planting time does the best. And so here they are. There's one bed made. And there's a row down it. And we got perfect germination. All 21 seeds came up. So, so far so good. And this uh, cage here was made just to keep the animals out. Deer and then turkeys, lots of turkeys running around. We don't want them eating it because, I mean, it's not something you can just go get more seed. It's pretty precious. So, yeah, there's this little gate in here. And go in here. So, yeah, the rows here. This, this part of the cage will be where the row is planted in the early spring, probably sometime in March. And I mean, I'm guessing the stuff planted in the fall will do the best because that's how I think, that, that's when I believe Sep plants his. But I mean, just in case there's some issues with the winter or something, then the rest of it's gonna be planted here on this side of the cage in the, in the early spring. But what I remember reading about it from Sep is that it like grew at different, and depending on the climate, it took different amounts of times. And yet in harsh climates, it could take several seasons. And then he, but the same grain would grow like somewhere like Colombia or Venezuela or something and just like grew to maturity in like six months. So I'm not sure exactly what it'll do here, but I mean, I know there's, I think it's mo most related to like wheat and rye and those sorts of things, just an ancient variety. And I know there's plenty of winter wheat grown in Montana so the, that heads up the next year. So I think there's probably a long enough season here for it to, for it to get seed from it next year, but I'm not sure. I've never grown it before either. It's. <laughs> pretty unusual. I'm not sure how many people in this country have it. I mean, I know Sepp's distributed around in Europe and places, but yeah, we're probably one of the only ones here, but hopefully get a bunch of seed and be able to plant a bunch more and, you know, not have to worry about it as much because there'll be way more seed and then other people can spread around the seed too. like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about growing stuff 
homesteading and permaculture all the time. Don't touch that mouse until you watch every episode of Rocky Mountain Permaculture's Permabits. Brought to you by RockyMountainPermaculture.com.